Well, hello. How are you? I am good. It is Thursday and I apologize for not doing a hump day haul yesterday. Um, my dad had went to the doctor in the earlier part of the day and had some labs done and they were concerned about the labs so they sent him over to the hospital where they did some stuff. He's back at home. Um, so he's been resting all day. So I don't really have any, I mean, they released him. So that's good. They gave him medications. Um, yeah. So <sighs> yesterday was a very busy day, <laughs> but he's good and he's home and that's what's important. But I had to come on because I have a sponsored team Wu haul today. So gotta love that. Don't mind my eyelashes. They might be falling off. They've been on for a hot minute because I've already been out today with my son, which I'm also going to share some fun little things. Um, we had to go pick up some medication for my dad. So since we were down in the bigger city, we went and did things. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, if you don't know what Timu is because you're new here, hi, first of all, welcome. So glad to see you. I'm so glad you found me. Um, hope you stick around. And if you're not new here and, and you already know what Timu is, I'm sorry. I got to let them know. But Timu is an online marketplace where you can find pretty much anything. Anything. I. They say shop like a billionaire. <laughs> I'm not kidding because I feel like I have been able to acquire so many things that I have wanted for quite a long time that I thought were just like never gonna happen you know what I mean like never gonna happen so that's like fun you know what I mean it's fun they make it they make, they make shopping fun which is probably not a good thing but it is because I'm able to give things to people that I probably couldn't have done before as well. You know, I love to give things away. So, which reminds me, we got some giveaways coming up. So stay tuned. I'm just gathering the things that I want so they're ready. And i um, trying to get some little ideas of what I want to do. So yeah, um, just keep your eye out for that but yeah timu is an online marketplace and it is inexpensive so when they're saying shop like a billionaire they are not kidding because you're paying a fraction of the cost that you would be paying at other retailers um it's just kind of like bringing you directly to distributors without an extra middleman i mean i guess they're a middleman but and it's cool because they offer games and stuff like that. So I play Fishland and Farmland and you can find my codes and my links to those games in the description box below, as well as links to download the Timu app if you haven't already. And if you download from my link, Timu will give me $5 and they will give you a coupon bundle and 30% off your first order if you're a new customer. So, but you have to order within the first hour to get that 30% off. So shop fast, <laughs> shop fast. Don't scroll endlessly like I, I end up doing and missing things. But um, yeah, so if you download that way, you get a coupon. And there's also a link in my description box for all users. If you've already been with Timu, you can find the one that says like, save big all users. Click on that because you can use that as well. But I want to get into this. This is very small. I had a spending budget of like 30 bucks. So I got a few things that I was wanting and I believe the campaign I chose was like summer something. So, you know, I thought summer is not only just like beachy stuff or, you know, coastal things. Summer is also like concerts and festivals and music and just, you know, living. So yeah, I got some living things. <laughs> Here's a sneak peek. Oh, sorry if I boomed you. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, first things first, and it's a little bent, but hopefully it'll get its shape. We have a hat and I got this. <laughs> because I'm hoping that 
Wait. There we go. Okay, put that away. I'm hoping that this summer I can recreate the character that I have in my head for this. I think now I'm just waiting on one more piece. I'm just trying to get it all fixed. Um, I just have to get one more piece, I believe, that I'm waiting on. And then I gotta put together something, but I, I have a clip in my hair. <laughs> you can't really see it because I have all that dark leaves in the background. Here, let's put, uh, I'm gonna take my eyelash right off. Can you see, it's like, you see what kind of hat it is? You see that? Can you? <laughs> but yeah, I have something fun and I needed this. So I don't know how much I paid for it, but I will be putting the prices on the screen and the price on the screen will be the price that it is currently at the time of filming. Team was constantly having sales and flash sales and markdowns and this, that, and the other. So prices may vary. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be the same anymore from what I put up there, but it will give you an idea. Things can go down to a penny sometimes. So, but yeah, this is fun. It's just like a felt. It's like a felt. Oh, yeah, that's cute, huh? <laughs> anyway, I like it. Okay, that'll be fun for summer. All right, what else? I think there's only like four things in here, honestly. Oh, no. Five things. <laughs> that's okay I'm going to show you some other stuff when we're done I got another one of the washi organizers because this was before I put my washi wall up and if, if you haven't seen that I'll sneak a little picture right on um, it's not done I'm waiting for more of those um, curtain rod holders to come I had to order more I only had the four but this is the washi holder. These are gener generally around $2. I think this one was listed at like $1.94 or something like that. I can't remember. But this opens like that. So you can put the washi tape on it and then put it right back through there. Oh, come on. I cannot do it. Oh, okay. And then turn it so it's locked. And there you go and it has a little cutter and i believe yeah you can switch like here this is like a fine tooth cutter and this one is larger and you can take these off i think you have to like <laughs> and have my husband do it because <laughs> that's like painful i think you have to like squeeze down and like push I, I'm not going to do that right now. But I would like it flipped because I like the bigger tooth better. It leaves a pretty little choo -choo 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 little scalloped edge, you know. Okay. And what better time to craft than summer when it's too hot to go outside and play. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you guys are going to get to see a little try-on. I got some clothes in here. Oh, these are fun. These are summer, for sure. These are festival, also. I I think they have that vibe. Mm. Sorry. Oh my god, I can't get it out. Nails. Look at those. Aren't those so cute? I might put those on. They're adorable. I love them. Okay. Oh, I hate when stuff comes crumpled up. See, just because you get a sponsored haul doesn't mean they're going to come all pretty all the time. <laughs> I'm just telling you, we get it the same, <laughs> sponsored or not. Oh my gosh. At least it doesn't stink. It's a little bit of like a thicker fabric. This is a shirt and I was so excited to get it. I love what it says. I love the look of it. I actually just hauled a shirt with the same style of neck, like where the neckline is, how it has like the lacing grommets. But this one is 
last night last night we let the liquor talk so and it's just a little black shirt i thought this was just gonna look cute with jeans actually i have black jeans on right now and you know what it's a pet peeve of mine when blacks are not the same I can't handle it. I cannot wear two opposing blacks. I can't do it. I cannot do it because I feel like they clash, you know? They gotta be the same. Is that weird? I don't know. I like it though. It's thicker. So I don't think it would be good on a hot day. It doesn't feel like it would be good on a hot day. Like I would not wear it today. <laughs> um, I, oh, where's my scrap? Hello? Okay, sorry. I need to see 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So let me take a look at this. The vinyl is a thicker vinyl, but it's also very malleable, very like bendable, but it's loud, huh? That's pretty loud. But it's not ugly. It's just few washings and it'll probably take that right away but I think it looks good the colors are good the picture's good I don't know I thought it was cute I thought it was cute and I thought this would look really cute with that gray skirt that I hauled I might put those on together because I don't think I tried on this skirt I think I forgot to put that on because it was like you know all crinkly and stuff but okay last item in the haul Another piece of clothing. Okay, I hope it feels, okay, it doesn't feel damp. It's all thrown in here though and crinkly. It doesn't stink. I'm not sure I like the fabric. It's the shinier and it's thick, thicker. This is not what I was hoping the fabric would be because it looks exactly like the style of it, including the, is that the back? No. Including this here, this line in the back. This is just like that green dress that I got in that sponsored collaboration. Oh, uh, I don't remember the name. I Anyway, doesn't matter. It rem The style of it, the way this, the sleeves were folded, it just looked like that particular dress and I wanted more colors so I saw this listing and everybody was like oh it's so soft it's so nice and I looked as best I could but anyway it's the shinier fabric I'm not sure how I'm gonna like these I'm not sure I'll try it on I'll let you know these kind of fabrics are never good when it's hot Oh, I'm sad. I was really looking forward to the dresses because, to be honest, I have another one coming in another color. I mean, it's cute. It's pretty. It's just the fabric. Doesn't that, you know? I don't know. Some of you understand. I know some of you understand. But, okay, well, we'll get those tried on. I still think it's going to be cute. And during the winter and fall this color this is gonna be great for the colder months so it doesn't like catch my skin it's just not good for summer <laughs> i'll wear the heck out of it during fall and winter though okay now i'll have all the links to those below and all the other links are going to be in the description box as well but let me show you what I got out rambling around with my son. So we stopped at this little shop that I love in the old town of the city, the older area. And an older gentleman has been running it for like 20 years. He's like in his 80s. He is awesome. And I have not taken my son there before. And I thought that he would kind of dig it. And I thought that he would dig the guy too. Because he's just such a character. He's so fun. And so we were waiting for the prescription to be ready for the prescriptions to be ready for my dad. And I said, well, let's go. Let's go over there. It's not that far. 
Um, so we went and I picked up a couple things. He picked up some stuff. He's like, I love this place. This is so cool. But anyway, so we know I love to use like playing cards in my journals, whether I just throw them in as is for someone else to do what they want or I decorate them. These are really cool because these can be just thrown in because they're kind of cool all on their own because they're just like older style cards and they're different things like games and trivia like i thought this was cool american authors card game no and no it wasn't 50 dollars. <laughs> but um let me get these out of here i thought they were so cool i think they were like 50, yeah they were 50 cents a piece i think yeah I think he charged me less because he only charged us like five dollars for everything but um these are so cute these are so cool okay so it has like the directions too with it and it shows this and then there's just kind of like the different authors and stuff and it tells you about them i thought oh my gosh these are so cool, right? They're so cool. So I got two because that's what he had. <laughs> because this way I can give the card. I could put cards into journals and then I can keep a deck for myself because they're really like, that's interesting. Maybe photocopy them and make some digitals or not photocopy, scan them, make some digitals out of them. And so other people can access them too. I think they're really cool. And that's the other one. And then I got the old maid card game. Just look at her. Look at how absolutely fabulous she is. <laughs> Stinking love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, let's see here. And I just thought they were so cute looking like... There's Little Miss Old Maid. I just thought these would be fun to like put into journals again. They don't need to, they don't even need to be decorated. Like look at how cute they are. They're just so cool. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on. And I think I only got one of this one. Yeah, I only got one of her. I, man, if I, I, the, <laughs> The extreme shopper in me wanted all of the card decks. All of them. All of them. That was ridiculous. I stopped myself. I also got the sports trivia game. Because again, I thought that was so interesting. And I didn't get to look at them because they're all wrapped up. But look at that. They're so cool looking. Can I open this? But he just has the best stuff in those. I just love those little shops that are just like in the old town, you know, that are just run by some mom or pop or both. Goodness, this is sealed good. Okay. Um, it's probably been sealed since the 70s when it was made or something. I'm ruining it. <laughs> but um, these are so cool. Okay, so here's the first one that we were looking at. I like the sound of it too. It's a little bit, it's not as waxy, you know, they're more paper-like. How cool are these? And there's just a bunch of them. That's so neat. If you're making a journal for someone who loves sports, throw a couple of these in there. It's called Pocket Trivia. That is so I love that. I love that. Look at that old cellophane. I might keep it. I might use it. <laughs> Just listen to that. Because you can use this as a window. And then you get that fun crinkly sound. Okay. And then I got these. I got two of these because they were so stinking cute. And this is the last card deck. 
And it's just the hearts card game. I just got these cute little cards. And the backs are just like the other one with the blue. Any other characters? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I just thought these were fun. They would make great little things to either decorate or give out, scan. I mean, even their boxes are adorable, you know, flatten out the boxes. <clears throat> scan them so you can then utilize them to make covers for books. How cute would that be? How cute would that be? <laughs> like, just imagine this, like, scanned. And then, you know, enlarge to a journal size that you want to use. And then use as like a cover. You do so much. So much. Okay. So that's it for the cards. I'm very excited. And then I got this because it's old. And I love cooking in my crock pot. And I love old recipes. And just look at how beautiful that is. How age the papers are like this is so cool I love ah, I love old cookbooks put that back <laughs> but you know I mean I can even scan see how like books that are falling apart that's really handy in our world because we can then scan them and Keep them alive. So I don't even know what he charged me for that. <laughs> because like I said, it was only five bucks for everything. And my son got a really cool glass. Okay. So I got these <laughs> Looney Tune mini stampers. Look at these. They got Marvin the Martian. Look at Marvin the Martian. I can't. I don't know if they work. I just had to get them. Look at how cute. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Let me press a little harder. Oh, come on. He wants to. He wants to make an appearance. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it on a piece of paper. Do we have a piece of paper? Mm, let's try this. Aha! I cannot. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! I just thought that would be fun to add to artwork, you know? Artwork, journals, whatever. But they have everything. So they've got Bugs Bunny, Tasmanian Devil, Wiley Coyote, The Roadrunner, Sylvester, Tweety, Marvin the Martian, and Porky Pig. And if you missed what the different symbols were for them, that's what they would all look like. <laughs> I mean, that's so cute. That's all I got over there. <laughs> just, you know, that's just what I got. And then, oh, you know what I did last night when I was all stressed when my dad was at the hospital? I was frustrated because I didn't have a notebook specifically because I, you know, he's been doing well. So I haven't had to have like all these notes for his health and stuff. So I remember and have things handy. And so me being the journal person that I am, I was stunned that I didn't have a notebook to write some of these notes in when I was talking to the nurses and stuff. So I was like, well, I can make one. So I made like a tra travel journal, I think is what they're called. And it's because of the shape. And I just grabbed an old magazine and some of my <laughs> son's leftover lined paper from school, some of my washi tape. And I just sat down and put together a journal. So this is it. It just got one signature and I just, tied it off and put these on there for extra weight so that it stays down and this was just a magazine um like the inside or something of one of the the inside of I can't remember it was like the you know the outer the, the outer page the cover and the back cover but like the inside of it and then another page over that so I wanted the crossword puzzle because I figured I could do some of them <laughs> if I'm ever sitting at the hospital. And then I just sewed it in like this. And then we've got like beautiful, um, I think that's California scenery. 
and then just the front and this is just the current month calendar I just drew out and then some notes these are the notes that I'm going to be transferring and then I'm going to put like a calendar thing in here and like some pockets but for extra like notes and it's going to be divided by I think it's going to be a few months at a time or like six months because I don't think I'll need a lot of notes but I'll put like tabs so I know like okay this is June this is July kind of thing but yeah so I did that I already got the pocket there yeah and this took me just a little bit and I just put the washi tape for added stability and nothing special I love lighthouses so I felt that was appropriate but yeah I mean this is like the epitome of junk journal because it's everything that I just had left over and I tried this um oh it's buried I'm sorry this that I hauled recently and it's the like the board that you can use to do the signature holes and it seemed to be pretty handy I like it so far I'm still playing with it I haven't got like the hang of it yet <laughs> but I like it so far and it made the sewing portion faster that's for sure so not too bad I'm glad I can review that positively because I was really hoping it would work out nice but all right well you guys that's it I think that's all I have for you today um I am out of Timu orders <laughs> But I have like a gazillion on the way. I placed an order hoping that it would come in a box. Like it's huge. Like I got a lot of stuff and big things that I thought for sure would like get everything. Mm -mm, no, they split it into six. Six packages. Thanks. So anyway. Okay. That's it. That's all. <sighs> I hope you all are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening whatever it is wherever you are make it a good one a happy one oh and tell me what was your favorite thing what one did you like the most i think i kind of like out of the hall the shirt i don't know about the dress yet the nails the nails <laughs> tell me what yours is below okay make it a fantastic one and i will see you in the next one bye for now